Sammy, first of all, the experience over in the WNBA. Are you a better player than you were last season? Gosh, I hope so. Uh, it was pretty special, pretty incredible, being surrounded by the best players in the world. Um, it's hard to not um, feel like you're getting better or at least learning so much from them. Just, uh, you know, daily getting to train with people like Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart, compete against them, and then, you know, you get on the court. Even for limited minutes, um, you know, the pressure's always on when you're coming on for players like that to, to keep up the intensity and to not let it... Um, not let the game drop. So yeah, I feel like I've at least learned a ton and hopefully can take a few of those things into the season. You created a storm, pardon the pun, but in one game in particular, was that just uh, one of your great moments in basketball? Yeah, I mean, that was obviously so exciting. Those are the moments that, you know, when you're playing or you're practicing and you're putting in the time that um, you sort of envision, you envision coming in and making a difference like that or, or making your shots um, when you get the chance. So that was really fun. Obviously, that was earlier in the season. And after that, it was just kind of trying to be just a consistent contributor if I got a chance. What's it like when you go from being the dominant player in the team over here for so long to being a contributor? How do, how do you get your head around that and, uh, over the course of time? Yeah, look, it's not as hard as you think it's going to be when you're around players as good as, as those girls. You know, you, you, real, you, you quickly sort of realise that, you know, you've got a lot to learn from them, that they are um, better in lots of ways. And, uh, and I, I was OK with, you know, being able to learn from them and, and try to, um, you know, raise my, my bar a little bit higher to try and catch up to them and keep up with them. So it was kind of exciting that at 29 I, I got that challenge and I got to be in a position that was going to force me to, to hopefully get better. What, what do you bring back to this, this group that you can teach them from what you learn? Yeah, I mean, hopefully lots of, you know, leadership. Um, Still, you know, moving forward with Tony, like we're going to be co-captains and I'm really excited about that. I love sort of how we balance off of each other. Um, and I've definitely learned a lot about what it means to compete at the highest level. And, um, you know, we were, we came up short over there as well, but we were, you know, fighting for a championship over there just as we were hoping to do this season. So things like that, how to be a, you know, a professional, how to, um, it's a short season as well with lots of travel and turnaround. So I feel like that's going to be kind of the new look season here. So hopefully I can um, help with a bit of that as well. Captaincy? What does that mean? It's really exciting. Obviously, it's a privilege. Um, and like I said, sharing that with someone like Tony, who's such a pro, such a vet, um, I, I really have loved playing with her these past few years. So it's exciting to share that with her. And, you know, we've got a lot of new faces. So I feel like um, it's really, you know, they're going to look to us to set the tone. And that means a lot as well, because I do pride myself in, in, in working hard and, and all of those things. Did you think you needed a freshen up this team? You, you came so close over the last two years. Yeah. Did you think maybe just adding a couple of different type of players or different people? Yeah, I think um, bringing in just maybe a couple of different um, looks, I guess, for us. Um, I think we'll, uh, it'll just change how people have to defend us. It'll change how we can defend, hopefully, as well. Um, obviously, th there'll be certain characteristics about our style of play that'll still be there. We'll want to shoot, we'll want to run. Um, we'll hopefully want to pressure defensively, but um, we've got a couple more, um, I don't know, I guess layers that we've added now with certain players that will hopefully be just that last bit that we need. And yeah, having some new faces who are hungry as well. And, you know, and someone like Kayla, who's a vet and who's experienced that championship as well. I mean, that's, that'll, it'll be great to have someone like that. How good is the league going to be now that they've made some changes and got some hype into it and some TV? And yeah, I mean, games. I mean, the hype's great, but I think just the raw talent that's in the league this year, when you think about some of the names coming back, the amount of um, additional WNBA players, you know, you just look at Courtney Williams that we've signed, but across the league, there's a lot of WNBA players this year, perhaps more than ever, I don't actually know, but um, yeah, and then you see, you know, someone like Jenna O'Hay's back, Liz is back. When you get those names and then you add, you know, TV exposure, I think it's really, really exciting. Going to um, stand at the top of the key and look into the key, and Liz is going to be standing there. You're happy to take her on? Happy to take her on. Happy to pull up short, maybe. <laughs> maybe make her come out a little bit further, and you know, pass it off to someone else. But I mean, that's that's it. That's what's so exciting about this year. There's so many um, great players, and it's really going to everyone's going to have to rise to the occasion. And I think you know, whoever ends up being the champion, hopefully it's us this year. Uh, they're really going to have to have earned it.